Folks, tonight we're diving into a story that stinks worse than a porta potty at a chili cook-off. It's about Canton, Texas, a town that's supposed to be known for its charming flea market, first Monday trade days, but scratch beneath the surface, and you'll find something rotten. We're talking corruption, abuse of power, and a blatant disregard for the law. This isn't about haggling for a good price on a rusty lawn gnome. This is about a city government that shut down a church and homeless shelter. In 2020, they did it with a straight face, folks, and they did it despite Texas law explicitly forbidding such actions. Canton's actions are a middle finger to the very people they swore to serve. But here's the good news. The people of Canton and beyond are fighting back. They've launched a boycott, urging everyone to avoid Canton and its flea market. They're hitting them where it hurts, their wallets. Because when you spend money in Canton, you're supporting a corrupt system. This isn't about canceling a town for kicks. This is about holding Canton accountable. Their actions demand a response, and this boycott is that response. It's about saying enough is enough. We won't stand by while a city government tramples on the rights of its citizens. Want to learn more about this boycott and how you can participate? Head over to boycottcanton.com. This website lays out the whole sordid story, chapter and verse. You'll find details about the church closure, the ongoing legal battle, and most importantly, how you can join the fight. Remember, every dollar spent in Canton is a dollar that indirectly supports the very officials who orchestrated this mess. Every empty stall at their precious flea market sends a message that we will not tolerate injustice. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. In 2020, the city of Canton obtained a court order to close down the Mennonite church and its associated homeless shelter. Their reasoning? Oh, just some vague, unspecified code violations. You know, the kind that magically appear when you want to target someone. But here's the kicker. Texas law, specifically the Texas Civil Practice and Remedies Code, Chapter 271, explicitly protects religious organizations from having their operations shut down by government entities like the city of Canton. They knew this. They just didn't care. Adding insult to injury, Texas voters passed a constitutional amendment, Article 1, Section 6A, in 2019. This amendment further strengthened protections for religious organizations, making Canton's actions even more egregious. They weren't just ignoring the law, they were spitting in the face of the Texas Constitution. Section 4. A violation of rights. A travesty of justice. But wait, there's more. During the church's closure, a Van Zant County Sheriff's deputy, clearly following orders from those higher up, physically assaulted Minister Joe Donaldson, the leader of the Mennonite Church. This assault left Minister Donaldson permanently disabled. Let that sink in for a second. Not only did they shut down a church and shelter, but they also brutalized the pastor. This wasn't just an attack on a building, it was an attack on faith, compassion, and basic human decency. The city of Canton claims to be upholding the law, yet their actions scream of hypocrisy. Their disregard for the rights of their citizens is appalling and their use of force is inexcusable. This is what tyranny looks like, folks, and we cannot let it stand. Section 5. When power attacks, who pays the price? Now you might be thinking, John, why is the city so hell-bent on shutting down this church and shelter? Well, follow the money, folks. Remember that flea market we talked about? Yeah, it brings in a boatload of cash for the city. And who benefits from all that sweet, sweet flea market money? City officials, that's who. We're talking lavish lifestyles, fat pensions, and maybe a solid discount on commemorative plates. And they're funding this lifestyle on the backs of the very people they're supposed to be helping. Meanwhile, the homeless population in Canton struggles to survive. They're denied basic necessities, cast aside like yesterday's trash. The very people who need the most help are the ones being ignored, all while city officials line their pockets with flea market profits. Section 6. Stand with Minister Donaldson, Stand Against Canton. The Mennonite Church and Minister Donaldson are still fighting for justice. They've filed lawsuits against the city of Canton and the Van Zant County Sheriff's Department. But guess what? Canton hired a fancy high-powered law firm to fight back, a law firm I might add that's probably billing the city a small fortune. So what can you do? Simple boycott Canton. Don't spend a dime in that town until justice is served. Hit them where it hurts their wallets. Show them that we will not tolerate corruption, abuse of power, and attacks on religious freedom. 
This is about more than just one church or one shelter. This is about standing up for what's right. This is about sending a message that we will not be silent in the face of injustice. Join the boycott. Stand with Minister Donaldson. Stand against Canton.